Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'd like to show you how Tamara's father prepares his land for a new season of planting. Before we go any further if you could just give us a thumbs up, press that like button. If nothing else it certainly helps the algorithm show this video to more people and that's quite important if we want this channel to grow. Sam's father has had this property since way back in the 1980s when it used to be a Vikenditzer and you can find more about Vikenditzers with the video that I made and it should be now showing up at the top of the screen. So he built this Vikenditzer and it was used for having weekend and holiday breaks, coming out for barbecues and during the conflict of the 1990s he even hosted refugees here for some time. But it is a large piece of land and he and his wife Lily create um, what I would call a large kitchen garden. So it has uh, vegetables and fruit up here, everything to sustain the family apart from meat. And of course our neighbors have got pigs and sheep and whatnot. So, you know, a little bit of trading. It's been going down since history. You could actually live a sustainable life up here. But to start off with, what do you do with the land, this large piece of land that has all over the late autumn of last year and the winter and early spring, you certainly can't dig it over by hand. And that's where a tractor comes in. Every year a tractor's here, it comes and plows the land. As you can see, this is a rough plow and uh, it will now sit, I think is the word fallow? for a little bit longer, uh, let the elements do what it has to do with this turned over soil. And then the tractor will come back and grade it down uh, finer. So nearly ready for planting. And then Predrag and his good lady wife then start segmenting off parts of the garden to make it uh, finer. Dig it over a little bit by hand possibly, and then start planting their vegetables, whether that's leeks, potatoes, courgettes, whatever, it goes in then. Now you might well ask about how much does it cost for a tractor like this to come on the property and just do what is maybe an hour and an hour and a half's uh, work. Well, it's all about the barter system. So the tractor is owned by our neighbor who normally works in Banja Luka, but we got a driver in and you know, a little bit of give and take, bartering as I call it. You give me something, I give you something, and that keeps the cost down. During the course of this year, we'll be popping back here to show you how things progress. So once the tractor comes back to till the land finer, I'll be here with my drone and camera to document that. During the course of this year we'll be popping back here to show you how things progress. So once the tractor comes back to till the land finer, I'll be here with my drone and camera to document that. 
So if you want to see more videos, particularly about what happens in the garden, please let me know uh, in the comments below. If you have ideas still, and I've had tons of ideas for making videos, but that doesn't mean that the list is inexhaustible. Please do put your thoughts, comments, and ideas for new videos in the comments below. If you can also, as I say, like this video, it does help with the algorithm. Subscribe so that you get notified every time that we post. You'll have to press the notification bell for that, and maybe share it with some friends who you think might be interested in finding out what it's like for me as a foreigner to live in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And if you know people who are from the region that now live around the world, maybe you've got neighbours in England or neighbours in the United States or neighbours in Australia, why not share the video with them as well? So that's it from this video. Until next time, stay safe. Vidi Musakasnia. See you later.